And let's welcome the guys that are with us in the studio. Joseph Mukuzi, it's good to have you back on the program. Yeah, well, uh, very, very, very a pleasure, great pleasure. Very yeah. excited about uh, the result today. I mean, <laughs> well, no matter how one nil it is, it's a, it's, it's a great result. That's clearly where you scored. The, exactly, at, at the time, time that yeah. it did. So we look forward to the game against Ryan Sports but with great expectation. Mm. So glad that Imba is, is flying Nigeria's flag uh, gratefully. It sounds good. It sounds good. Of course, Inyobong Monday uh, is also here. Inyobong, good to have you on the show. It, it was great um, to, to see the Abba fans, Austin, good evening. Very mm. good to be here. It was great to see the Abba fans come out in their numbers. It was wonderful to hear the chants of Inyimba, Inyimuzobu. It was, it was quite very, very uh, wonderful with that mantra. And mm. it, it was great to, to see that um, Inyimba got into the, the quarterfinals of the, of, of the CAF Confederation Cup. You cannot mm. remember the last time a Nigerian team was in the quarterfinals of, 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 of any CAF organized um, club competition. So very wonderful. The pitch was in perfect condition. A few things that gave, gave us something to talk about. Mm, sounds good. And of course, uh, the governor of the state, uh, Dr. Okezi Peazu, has already congratulated him. I said, thank you. All of the money we put into the stadium. Thank you for bringing it. It's a good use. We'll talk about how comprehensively. Uh, but just say uh, you've been monitoring what's going on with athletics in Nigeria and yeah. our athletes. They've been talking. Yeah, uh, we really have to be very, we, it's high time we looked at it really because I mean the van of Buru came out today it was all over the media mm. and complained that uh, you know they was given a hundred and seven thousand naira during the championship because you know, they rejected it alongside the Februno and the uh, blessing of Kagbari. Mm. He said that uh, if things are not fixed, he's likely not to honor invitations again. Mm. He said that in the course of the tournament, he actually lost his father and still went on to compete, uh. you know, for Nigeria. And that the barrier of his father has been fixed for October. And as it is now, he doesn't have the money, you know, to even, you know, pay his own passion, his own, uh, you know, portion as in allotted to him, to the fam uh, his family to, to pay. And he's, he's threatening seriously that we are paying lip service to Nigerian athletics, yeah. that if we really want to solve the problem, we really have to pump in money mm. and ensure that the athletes get the best. That's right. So um, that's one we are also monitoring. Uh, hopefully we'll get Divine Ududuru to talk to us, tell us the story, because that's the other thing we can do. And hopefully administrators will listen. We keep talking about welfare, welfare. Uh, look at the Asian Games and see the number of Nigerians. Yeah running for Bahrain, then you will know that I will have a lot of work to do. But let's get into the one that is getting all of us talking. That's the CAF Confederation Cup. Let's run through the results. Anybody waited till the 93rd minute to beat Cara Brazzaville and top group C of the CAF Confederation Cup. It was a 1-0 victory, but this sort of result is equivalent to 5 new. <laughs> yes, the number of times they, we were counting those goals to come, the number of times they struck the woodwork. And in the other game, Williamsville and Joliba played goalless, so that that made it easy for Cara Brazzaville yeah. to also yeah. qualify from Group C. Uh, USML Alja defeated Gormaya by two goals to one. Ryan Sports defeated Young Africans by uh, a single goal. And that was how they finished second in their group. And so they will be meeting uh, the leader of Group C which is Aimba Football Club of Abba. So we're waiting uh, for that one. But, but, but it's good, it's good. I just said, if, if you look at it, I like it. Well, maybe because Nigeria were following the CAF Confederation yeah. Cup. We've seen some good quality this year. Yeah, absolutely. I'm particularly very excited that we've avoided USM Algiers. Ah. I mean, we'll see, we know what the North African teams have done to us. The Ryan Sports have played the Rivers United before and they lost here 2-0 and the Rivers was able to get the result away and to qualify in to the group stage so it, it gives us a lot of hope you know that we can that we can go far we've seen great qualities of course in the course of the tournament but my particular concern is really i really want Aimba to excel in this tournament because of the coefficient that it will you know you know give nigeria uh, as regarding getting you know an extra slot for the competition call well, great mm -hmm. result for Aimba. you know came at uh, the time that we least expect extra time goal and uh, but no matter how one nil it is i would say it's a great mm -hmm. result mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the story. But in your bong, uh, going forward, Ryan Sports of Rwanda, do they worry you? It, it, it does worry me, quite honestly, because um, for him, uh, it, it, it looked like um, this game, as the game went on, it looked like this, the game could have been played for three days and Imba would not score because it, going forward, I don't think Imba showed a, any bit of composure in the final third. They, they were passing the ball in a way that I wasn't quite comfortable. After five minutes, I saw the defenders loming the ball forward. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any bit of cohesion in the Imba play, but great 
performances in terms of the individuals, people like mm -hmm. um, um, Oladapo in the middle of the park and Fonodot, who was, was absolutely instrumental to what they got today. I, I'm really worried in, term, in terms of the goal scoring. Imba have scored five goals already in, in six games in, in the CAF Confederation. Mm -hmm. And that should worry me because when you go into the knockout stages, it's about putting the ball in the net. You're not going to play nil-nil away, home and away and hope to win on penalties. You've got to, to be able to take your chances. And Imba created quite a few today and they didn't take advantage of it. So I'm quite worried at the lack of goal scoring, but credit to, to them for their character, yeah. credit for their mentality mm. because they kept going on. They yeah. kept going on. They, they didn't mm. allow what was going at the other game to worry them. They tried to get their job done, you know. Mm. Even at nil-nil, the results in William, with William, Williamsville and Joliba could have still ensured him but would qualify. But they, they kept at it and it was wonderful. It was a spirited performance by the people's elephants. And so uh, they, they did the job um, and have qualified for the quarterfinals. Let's go on this quick break. Sports tonight on channels, television. When we come back, uh, what do we hear from Joseph? The fans, what role did they play? And that stadium, the floor, Lights. We we'll also talk about it, so don't go anywhere. Stay.